This is my old 67 welcome you back with Dex Isidorf his Splantis. Here it is now in early November. Yeah. Well, actually I'm recording in October, but never mind. You won't see that. And um, it's looking a little dark, so rather than carry on with any quests, I think, um, look, the stars are out. Yeah. Let me go get a bit of light. Bit of, bit of groaning around the place. Ah, uh, that's better. Okay, what I'm going to do is read some mail. And uh, the Witches Festival is... Hey, it's in progress in November. And it will be, for me, an episode after this. And we'll see if we've got anything there to do. Um, should be able to use last well, year stuff. If I've still got it, I'll need to check. Anyway, for now, let's go read some mail. Ludovic Lalmont Blacksmith Materials I beg your pardon, I beg your greatest pardons if this delivery was delayed. Urbeck drug drug dragged dragged drug dragged Is drug a word for dragged? Anyway, the entire minecart up to the smeltery and nearly buried us. It's not in my nature to shout at a learning mind. Thank the gods, because I don't think I'd survive angering the boy. That's why he's incredibly strong. At least the boy can clear a mess as fast as he can make one. The smelter is clear of debris again. Today's lessons won't be anything fancy, but the basics of melting points and mould casting are essential, whether you're working with simple copper or, or something as rare as ebony. Nice. Every apprentice reaches a point where they think they know better than the master. S some laborious, lab laborious step seems a waste of time, so they take the shortcut. I didn't expect Urbeck to reach that point so soon. He's begun hammering the ore on my anvil. He'll see reason soon enough. He cracked the anvil. I'm so mad I could spit. Forgive me. Here's your order. My great 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 grandfather forged the blades of five dynasties on that anvil, and his great 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 grandfather before him cast it right into the foundation of the site. It is the bedrock of this establishment, now defaced by a great fissure. I'll likely have to replace it entirely. Can't you make one? You get Rubik to make one. I realize that in taking you into my confidence with this dilemma. It may reflect poorly in our business relationship. The four icons, the four irons, maintain several other working anvils, so there will be no delays in our ongoing service to you, good smith. Excellent. Keep the materials up. You needn't linger on any questions of the quality of the services you're, you've paid for. Let me just say that after centuries of daily labour, my ancestral anvil has never once required repair. And this only underscores the exceptional circumstances under which four irons produce goods. Hey? And this should only underscore the exceptional circumstances under which four irons produce goods could fail. <coughs> only under exceptional circumstances could they fail. And cost? Um, well, the cost is I had to spend a skill point. I guess that's the only cost I did. In fact, the Lamont family can attest that its workmanship has endured many generations through times of war and peace alike. Why, it's said that the black blade of the iron sun cut down 10,000 warriors during this reign. Who did that ancient lord of Camelon entrust to work the rarest iron in Tamriel? Lamonts, that's who. That reminds me, the Fort Iron Smeltery is supremely qualified to handle all forms of metal, both known and unknown to man and mirror alike. Such work is pro prohibitively costly. Why risk it with inferior workmanship when our expertise is always at your service, good smith? Glad to know that! And um, what am I level 30 something or rather in blacksmithing? It's quite a lot that I know. 
but I don't know everything. I can't do everything. I can only assume the components provided by the four irons have served beyond your greatest expectations. We remain humbly at your service. Well, thank you very much. They do meet my... Well, they meet my expectations. Now that good stuff. It's absorbed stuff. Ubik has finally been convinced of the merits of smelting and heating the metal before beating it into shape. He raw forged the blade. He was quite proud of it till it shattered. Till he shattered it on one of my shields. When I regained feeling in my arm, I showed him how to work out the impurities. Progress at last. You mean he was taking the raw iron, just beating it? Hmm. Okay. He's learning. Are all orcs so single mindedly fixated on the physicality of action? This boy has almost no concept of subtlety or finesse. If an act is not punctuated with the percussion of violence, it seems to hold no value. I thought he might explode at any moment when I made him carefully pour our last batch of ingots into their moulds. He still has to scour the first batch off the walls and floor. No, I didn't pour it carefully, so I went. Ooh! Oh, no, oh, nickel. She doesn't look alike. Three and two. Nice. Herbeck has reached a competency that it's... Herbeck has reached a competency that it's suitable to see honest work. He may be ready to show you his own handiwork soon enough. Rest assured that nothing will be permitted to reach your forge without first being inspected and measured up to the standards by the family name. This is one material you've got in it. You're giving me, not it's like you're giving me um, refined ore or, or that. So, um, what is he, Andy Worker, you expecting he's going to show me? The sense doesn't quite roll very well anyway. I'll read it again at some point. When I watch this video! Yes. Okay, never mind. I had intended for Urbeck to include his own professional correspondence with his first work, as establishing a healthy rapport with their customers is a vital skill for a craftsman, but he has great difficulty with writing. No styles of paper has been forged that can survive his penmanship. He's too rough on the day. Breaks it! Okay. The Lamont family recognises the value of passion and learning. So, Urbeck is currently working on a, on a personal project. I've included these components from our stores, which I'm certain you will find more than satisfactory. Mm, only just be satisfactory. Urbeck is cleverer than he appears. He's been hammering out metal sheets with letters on them. No doubt to refine his metalwork and his literacy at the same time. The Lamont genius must be rubbing off at last. Ludovic Lamont, good on you. Ooh, from Urbeck. Right. This is Urbeck. This is Urbeck. Urbeck smash you on this letter to go with other things. Urbeck smash for you. They are, are sturdy. Okay, space is in the wrong place, but never mind. He is writing and I understand him. Whoops, skip the enchanter. Mike Smith. Urbeck smash you new things. These not crumble before Urbeck done with smashing things. Little Chief Lamont says they are fine. Ooh, bloodstone. Just like Moleb, 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 Moleb Yes, they are fine indeed. Urbeck work out ways to smash whole words instead of just letters. Writing goes faster and neater now. Urbeck plans to smash letters to clan after work for you is done. Urbeck never think writing could be fun before learning to smash letters. He must be hammering the letters into the directly into the steel steel plate that um, Lamont mentioned earlier. Apologies, Goodsmith. When Urbeck said he was finally writing you, I did not realise he was literally beating his rude concept of language into sheet metal. I assure you that this additional weight was not counted against your component orders. 
You are welcome to melt them down and put them to better use, of course. Ah, he did indeed then. Bone, my bone. He did indeed hammer letters into sheet metal. Urbeck hasn't said a word to me since I forbade him from using our stock for his literary studies. Not that he was talkative in the, in the first place. Perhaps I was too hard on him. Yes, you were too hard on him. Good on him finding a way of communicating. What's this? Yep. I shall skip that one. Have a look at that another time. After some careful consideration, I propose a compromise to Urbeck, which he has found agreeable. He may continue his unique transcription methods, provided he provides his own materials. If his correspondence becomes burdensome to you, don't hesitate to contact me on the matter. Well, there's an issue with contacting you about the matter, is that um, this is pretty much one way. Little Chief Lamont says Urbeck can smash your letters again. Urbeck not get the chance to write home before, but will now. Urbeck glad not to write like Little Chief Lamont. Domnosh clan think Urbeck gone soft if they got dainty Breton letter. Um, you haven't sent me much stuff, Urbeck. Anyway, that will do. Let's have a quick look. Ah, pre premium and daughter exploration supplies. Oh, that's from the um, a reward from meeting an undaunted um. oh I'll have a look at that later anyway that will do for now so this is Bolyos 67 signing off Dax Isidorf Espelancis be well